Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. So here I'm going to use chat GPT to build a chat app. Now we'll be building a very simple chat app and uh, we'll see that whether it can really build a chat app or not. Okay, so we'll start from the very basic way of building a chat app, very basic one using Flutter and Firebase. And that's what we'll be doing. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I've done it a few times and I have seen the reaction and how chat GPT responses. So uh, let's go ahead and see it together. Code me a Flutter Firebase chat app. So yeah, let's see how it goes. So okay, now the first response starts with I'm sorry that I can't blah 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 and then it gives you some suggestions how to go ahead and do it and while well, here we see that it actually started coding this is the YML file we know that and here it says the dependencies and of course it's telling you to go ahead with a list view go ahead and at the same time we are using stream builder and this is good actually because stream builder notifies you immediately if you have new data updated all right and here we go done so this is our chat app from chat GPT now I have done it a few times actually before and first time when I tried it it actually tried to code me one okay now of course it's getting smarter so as it was trying to code me a chat app it actually really tried first time but it got crossed after doing uh, one-third of the app it got crossed it didn't know what to do and as it was doing it was doing very slowly now this is I'm trying again a few days later so this time we say it got smarter because it started with I'm sorry but first time when I started it didn't say I'm sorry it just went ahead and tried to do that okay now that's that's the one I mean that's the response that I got from chat GPT so one thing that a lot of people they think that chat GPT can build you a complex code or real world code but it's just not gonna happen okay now I'm a developer I've been coding for last 10 years and I have seen the way it does it tries to do that but it gets lost now it's getting smarter in a sense that and now it gives you suggestion how to do now how to do certain things rather than doing it for you okay so it's not going to replace your job you developer you engineer you still be an engineer and keep learning so G chat gpt may give you help you a piece of code okay that uh, just a small function that can find for you and give you but still not enough because in chat gpt when you get code or links you can't really compare now i can do the same over here so i can say flutter firebase Flutter Firebase chat app now here of course well that is my channel anyway so now over here you can you can get to actually compare you can go ahead with this you can go ahead with this you can go so this is better searching than chat GPT itself because and there are also a lot of tutorials that you can go ahead and follow it's all up to you right but the way chat GPT works uh, just some suggestions and done and eventually actually it refers you to Google I mean these things are all Google related resources right so Google is still your best friend chat GPT you can use just for fun but not really to replicate some work or masterpiece it's not going to do that at least in next 10 to 20 years because I guess uh, there's a long way to go it's still a baby over here now here I'll try it one more time but a little bit different way okay so code me firebase api for a chat app now let's see how it goes now here it, it is going with some examples okay now this time looks like it's working so let's go ahead and see that okay it got some uh, Firebase code over here and of course this is still using Flatter now of course it takes this context why it's using Flatter because previously I have said code me a Flutter app now over here it's giving me the same thing but now once again it's done over here okay it just gave you some basic function then you might need like if you have a chat collection then in the collection you might want to save your data of your chatting or your user ID and that's what it did and uh, 
it that it did give me uh, API that's true but it didn't tell me that how to go ahead and use it and how to connect with the backend and how to call this one from your UI and assign this now one might say let me go ahead and copy this and put it in the UI or like in your uh, Android studio and connect that yes that's possible but what does it mean it still means that you have to know how does a chat app work so you you have to still build your basic okay just asking over here build a chat app and it's just not gonna happen okay so if you're a developer or engineer or programmer keep learning okay it might give you a piece of code like this but eventually once again you have to connect them connect all the dots and how it works okay it does help you with a bit a bit of efficiency maybe but i'm not sure with why you see here it gave me the code but where to call it how to call it we have no idea and whether i really need this uh, parameters over here you also don't know that so even if you try to use it most probably you'd be tweaking changing a lot so once again so that's not the way to go so chat gpt i'm not against chat gpt but it's like uh, there is a lot of uh, um, talk going on chat gpt is this and that the only difference between chat gpt and a rocket is that a rocket can fly it is supposed to be a rocket science but it is not because it can't fly it is good for doing some romantic chat yeah i think that does it very well but when it comes to technical job no it's still far behind from what we need okay so it still needs a long way to go by this time it would be very old and uh, of course there would be a different era or age we can forget about that one so we can mind our own business do our stuff and keep learning and that's the way to go anyway so if you agree with me you can leave your comment if you disagree with me or if you have different experience with chat gpt then just uh, comment in the uh, comment section and let's share your ideas with me thank you hello everyone assalamu alaikum welcome to flutter audio video collab tutorial and this tutorial is by the best tech let me tell you who this app tutorial is for definitely for beginners to advanced learners if you are a flutter beginner learner and you want to be an advanced learner this tutorial is for you and if you want to land a job and you want to write on your cv that okay you have done you have developed a cool app this is for you and if you're a student and you want to write it on your thesis because I'm going to provide you a lot of materials and pictures and graphics that you'd be able to use on your thesis. And this app is complex enough, so it's best suit for your college thesis. And if you wanna use this app as a prototype and based on it, you wanna build more complex features, definitely this is for you. At the end, it's just all about mastering how to build app. Why? Because we are going to use a lot of complex features and architecture to build this app. Now let's take a look at some of the functional features of this app. Definitely it will have third party login like Google, Facebook, and Apple login. We'll also cover how to do phone number login. After all this, we'll be focusing on how to do text chat, image chat, and exciting features like audio call chat and video call chat. And at the same time, we'll be sending notification. And this app will also have profile section and more about notifications. You will have notification as you receive text. You will have notification if you have an audio call from other party. You will have notification if you have a video call from someone else. And if you initiate a video call, you'll have a sound on your side. If you initiate an audio call, you'll have sound on your side as well. And eventually we will also see that our chat history is saved for a long time and at the same time we'll see how to send images and icon with your notification and now let's take a look at some technical features of this app definitely we have used flutter framework we have used laravel framework and we have used firebase service and agora sdk now let's see how they would be connected in our app building so definitely here chatty refers to our app now Chatty would be first talking with Firebase for login request. Once we get that one, now Chatty would be talking with our Laravel service or Laravel backend. Over there, we'd be saving data, user data, and Laravel would be also used as for authentication. 
So next time you want to log into your app, instead of talking to Firebase, actually you'd be talking to Laravel. So it would be learning how to build APIs along with using Firebase APIs. So if you want to master API building skill, this is the right tutorial for you. And at the same time, we'll see how to integrate Agora, Laravel and Chatty at the same time. Now here, another thing, Laravel and Firebase, how they would be working, you may ask. Laravel and Firebase would be working for sending notification. Our chatty app, when you send message, first will send the notification to Laravel and Laravel would send the notification to Firebase and Firebase would send the notification to other users, your intended users, they would receive the notification. Now let's see the core focus of this tutorial. So definitely we'd be building beautiful UI and along the beautiful ui we'll see how to manage our app state since we'll be dealing with a lot of data so our app is pretty dynamic at the same time you'll also master how to work with local storage we'll not only save our chat history in firebase but we'll also save the chat history in local storage with this you'll see our app is very fast it's a seamless chatting just like the one we use on wechat or facebook now another feature I'll walk you through step by step how to build API for your own server. Apart from learning how to use the API from Firebase, you'd also learn how to build API using Laravel. At the same time, we'll see how to connect our app, Laravel and Firebase together using our backend API. We see the same with Agora SDK where we'll connect our app Laravel and Agora API for talking with each other and initiating audio and video call. So after all this, let's start our exciting journey to Flutter app development.